Hey everyone, this is James. In this tutorial, I'm excited to introduce you to the Hanser Pro 7, a game-changing plugin for DaVinci Resolve 18. I'll show you how to effectively use the Hanser Pro 7 to enhance these log formats, bringing out the riches in colors, contrast, and dynamic range. Throughout the video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to leverage the full potential of the Hanser Pro. We'll explore its advanced features and intuitive interface to enhance the mood, tone, and texture of your footage specifically tailored to Z-Log2 and S-Log3. So if you're ready to bring your Z-Cam and Sony footage to life, let's dive right in. So we have five clips here. We have the Z-Cam E2 F6 Pro footage, S6, the Z-Cam S6, the A7 IV S-Log3, another A7 IV S-Log3, and we have the FX3 S-Log3 footage. So let's start with the Z-Cam F6 Pro. Go ahead and add a node. We'll just label this the answer and then we'll go ahead and label this as our sharpness we'll add sharpness later okay now let's go to effects drag and drop your dehancer pro and for now let's go ahead and turn off our film grain and fortunately we don't have the Z cam cameras in here to choose from okay so for now what we'll do is use the Ari Alexa mini log C that is the closest thing that you can use for the Z log 2 log format okay so right now it's uh, our film profile is 250d let's go ahead and go for uh, I like this look right here this is the Astrum color negative 125 Okay, and as you can see, we have a little grade going on, but we'll have to do a few adjustments. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and do the exposure comp first. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And by the way, I have my monitoring LUT in the description, so you can download that and use that to expose your image when you record. So I have um, a LUT you can download for your cameras. Okay, we brought down the exposure comp. Let's go ahead and play with our color right here. We'll add just a little color. Let's put 20 color boost. And let's do a few adjustments over here. Let's go ahead and change this to 2383. So right now we're in linear. Okay. And then let's go ahead and add our film compression. Okay. Now this will give you a nice smooth highlight roll off. If you can see this cloud right here, we'll go ahead and add a little back, a tonal range. So we'll bring it back. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and play with the white point right there. And let's go ahead and adjust our temperature. Go ahead and make it a little cooler. Okay, just a little bit. And let's go with our exposure. So we'll bring the mid-tones back. So, go ahead and bring that up. There you go. And then, you know, your tonal contrast, you can add a little bit of tone. It really depends on you, how you want your footage to look like. And we'll add a little color density right here. Okay. And then, we'll go ahead and play with your expand black point. So, let's go ahead and add this one right here. And then we'll bring the white back. Let's bring it back up just a little bit. All right, there you go. And let's go ahead and add our sharpness right here. And let's go ahead and change this to 47. As you can see, there you go. We have a nice looking image. And turn it off and on. There you go. Okay, up next we have the Zcam E2 S6 footage, and this is my short film. And let's go ahead and start off with two nodes again. And again, you want to label that to Dehancer. Dehancer Pro. And we can just go ahead and label this sharp, Sharpen. So, we'll label Sharpen. Okay, so Dehancer Pro, drop it in. 
let's go ahead and choose our camera profile right here. So we'll go ahead and select Ari. Okay. Take out the film grain for the meantime. Okay, let's go ahead and change the film profile and let's go ahead and choose Fuji C200. I kind of like the C200 look. Okay, so we have the C200 and here we go. We'll go to our print profile. We'll change that to 2383. There you go. And we'll go ahead and bring this exposure a little bit down. It's a little overexposed. There you go. Bring that down and watch your waveforms. Okay and let's go ahead and adjust the color temperature this is supposed to be a daytime so we can this is dinner i'll make it a little nighttime right here so there you go and then let's go ahead and add our film developer right here turn it on let's add a little bit of color if you want let's put 20. there you go um let's try 30. okay and then here we're going to have to turn on the film compression so you can get this highlight smoother okay and then here we are black points so you want i want the background darker okay so what we'll do is adjust the expand black point right here we'll bring that down there you go okay and let's go ahead and brighten the midtones and then we'll go ahead and adjust the white tone and we'll bring it up go and you know it's up to you if you want to add more tonal contrast so you can make it brighter or darker circle depending on your taste and there you have it folks uh, if you want to add grain this will be nice with grain so I'll go ahead and use the 65 mm ISO 500 and let's turn it on actually looking good right now so let's go ahead and play and that's how it looks and this is the Z log 2 and this is the color graded with the answer okay don't forget we can go ahead and add our sharpening right here so I'll go ahead and just bring that down to 47 there you go we can go ahead and turn it on and off so you can see there you have it and there you go Okay, up next, let's go ahead and let's play with our A74 footage right here. Uh, this is an S-Log3. Again, start with two nodes and go ahead and go Dehancer Pro 7, drop it in. Let's go ahead and change our camera profile right here to Sony A74. And I shot this in S-Log3, S Gamma 3.C800. There we go. I mean, the Kodak Vision 3 250D looks pretty good on this, but let's go ahead and change it to Ultramax. Let's go with the Ultramax 400 this time. Okay, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and get rid of our film grain for the meantime and our film print profile. We'll go 2383. There I go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and adjust our... Um, Exposure first, let's go back up. I'll adjust the exposure. There you go. And you know, the temperature, depending if you like it warmer, if this you want the warmer look, let's go ahead and make it a little warm. Uh, and then let's go ahead and add more color boost. So let's just make it 30 again if you want. So just enable this, make sure you, you enable. And here we'll go ahead and add our film compression right here. And then let's go ahead and play with the black points. So let's go ahead and bring this down. There we go. And then white, maybe it's too, depending on the mood. And here we go, target white. Let's go ahead and play with the target white. And a tonal contrast. So if you want to punch here, we can go with this look right here. You know what, let's go ahead and add grain on this. So we'll go in 65 and it'll enable it. And there you go. Let's go ahead and try to add our sharpness here. And then go bring that down to 47. There you go. So you, hopefully you can see this. So add a little more sharpness. And then let's go back to the enhancer and add our film grain. So now this is S-Log3. 
and we have our Dehancer Pro color grade right here. Very simple, very easy. There you go. Play that. It looks good. Okay. Let's go up next. Let's go ahead and another A7 IV. Um, I'm not going to label this anymore. You know what to do. We'll go with the Hazard Pro in our first node. Let's choose camera Sony A7 IV and SR3. I can't see. Okay, so that, let's, this time let's go ahead and get rid of that grain first. And let's go ahead and change this to. Um, Let's see. Uh, let's go back to our Astrum color negative 125. Let's see how it looks. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and 2383. And here, let's do a few adjustments. Start from the top again. Okay. Let's go exposure. Let's bring this down. There you go. All right. And then the color temperature. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. This is a golden hour. Uh, let's go ahead and add color. Let's just go 50 this time. So let's add more color in here. So it's 50. Make sure you enable this. There you go. I'll turn it off, on, off, on. Again, depends on your look. It's up to you. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and add our film compression right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and adjust the tonal range. There. And here we have the black point. So go ahead and just bring this down. There we go. And then our white point, if you want to brighten it up. There we go. And here we have our target white. Make sure our whites are white. And then we have your exposure EV right here. There we go. Make it a little moodier. And our tonal contrast. Right, contrasty and let's go ahead and enable our 65 mm grain right there so also it's up to you if you want to go bloom uh, I, I did try to bloom on this um, I'd rather go with a 65 or 70 and if you enable it you can see that there's the that promise look that bloom promise look to it that's actually not bad it looks good so there you go e 74 color graded i really like this low contrast look so um but yeah that's our a74 and again let's go ahead and put our sharpening here we'll go 47.47 and there you go there you go folks a74 yeah okay okay guys up next we have the sony fx3 s log 3 footage and we'll go ahead and do the usual. Let's go ahead and add Dehancer Pro. Let's go ahead and select our camera. Choose camera. Let's go with Sony. And we'll choose FX3. S-Log3, s Gamma 3 Cine. All right, there you go. And go ahead and turn off our grain for now. And let's change this to 2383. And then go ahead and choose let's go with uh, Fuji color C200 okay and, and right now let's go ahead and bring the exposure down so bring that sky back our clouds back in there and then let's go ahead and add our color boost let's make it 50 add more co color in there and then let's go ahead and get the film compression going right here and let's add a little tonal range right there bring the clouds back and let's go ahead and bring the exposure back up and let's go to expand and bring it back up and then our black point just just a little bit there we go so we have a little contrast going on and now let's go ahead and add our uh, bloom so you can see let's change it to 65 and we'll see it right here on off on and we'll go ahead and add a little more tonal contrast right here there we go 
that's a little bit little adjustments here and there guys it's really up to you and let's go ahead and bring the temperature a little cooler right there and let's go ahead and target white let's bring that up just slightly and our last thing is our sharpness don't forget to add that let's go ahead and add 47 it's up to you if you want to add this or not so I just want a little sharpness back in our footage and that's pretty much it that's how easy it is As you can see we'll go ahead and turn it off on and before we wrap up don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more creative content your support means a lot and helps me continue creating valuable content like this thanks for watching and I'll see you next time